Hello, I'm Jillian Whitney, Wildlife Biologist for DCR's Division of Water Supply Protection. And if you're out walking in the woods and you come across this, a shallow depression, you very likely found a vernal pool. The word vernal means related to or occurring in spring, and that's when it all happens, right here. Most vernal pools form in low-lying areas or depressions, have no permanent outlet, and are usually fed only by snowmelt and rain runoff. So, kind of like a puddle. And unlike a pond or lake, most vernal pools dry up by mid-spring to summer. But some pools can go for a couple of years before they dry up. It's this temporary nature of the pool that makes it unique. Fish and other pond life must live in water year round and cannot survive in a vernal pool. But amphibian eggs, like those of frogs or salamanders, only need water for a few months of the year to grow to adulthood. And here they are safe from being eaten by fish. There are of course other threats to eggs and tadpoles in vernal pools. Late season freezing or snow could harm egg masses and terrestrial snakes, birds or mammals could eat eggs and tadpoles as well. But for the most part in this environment, a high percentage of the eggs laid here have a good chance of surviving. Species such as wood frogs and spotted salamanders lay their eggs here in the early spring, after which the adults return to the nearby woodlands. When the eggs hatch, the larva or tadpole live in the pool until they grow into their adult forms. This transformation is called metamorphosis. Adult spotted salamanders then spend much of their lives underground and wood frogs spend much of their lives on land, but only return to the pools in the spring to breed. Fairy shrimp, on the other hand, spend their entire lives in a vernal pool. And when the pool dries up, their eggs will survive until the pool fills with water again. These three species are known as obligate vernal pool species. They require a vernal pool to survive and the vernal pool is identified by their presence. So if you hear wood frogs calling, find spotted salamander, wood frog egg masses, or find fairy shrimp, then you have found a vernal pool. Vernal pools come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They can range from a small puddle to several thousand square feet. They are most often found in forested areas where there is a partial to complete shade over the pool. Pools with a partially open canopy usually melt and dry out faster in the spring than those with a closed canopy. Water clarity and depth can vary as well, with most pools averaging two to four feet in depth, but some may be as deep as 10 feet. Pools can be relatively free of vegetation with only leaf litter in the bottom and trees around the edges. Or there could be lots of vegetation, such as blueberry or winterberry, different grasses, or sphagnum moss in the pool. Dead and decaying trees and branches may also be present, which can be a great opportunity for attachment points of egg masses. All of these factors can have an effect on the way life progresses in the pool. This is a very unique place with a delicate balance, where very specific but ecologically important animals thrive. But it's not all easy peasy for them. Life in a vernal pool is a race against time, to grow to maturity and then hop, slither, or crawl to the uplands before the pool dries out. Then in the fall, when most pools are dry, falling tree leaves will litter the bottom of the pool and the next spring, when it fills with water again, these leaves are broken down by microscopic organisms to become a food source as well as protection for the newly hatched tadpoles and fairy shrimp. Then when the time is right, the adult creatures instinctively return to the pool to lay their eggs. What a sequence! Everything in nature has its place. For these reasons, the DWSP, as well as many other environmental organizations, take special care in preserving and protecting vernal pools. Some state-listed rare species such as blue spotted, Jefferson, and marbled salamanders are associated with or entirely dependent on the unique habitat vernal pools provide. DWSP makes efforts to locate and identify vernal pools during the spring, and the agency maintains accurate and detailed records of those pools. Vernal pools are an important part of the watershed management forest. Not only is the pool itself important, the land immediately surrounding the pool is critical too. 
These areas are an important forest floor environment, shaded with abundant leaf litter and coarse woody debris cover for amphibian dispersal, foraging, and hibernation during the time animals are not in the pool. Because this habitat extends beyond the pool itself, the Division of Water Supply Protections treats all potential vernal pools, whether certified or not, to be vernal pool habitat areas and affords them all of the same protections. Vernal pools are found all over Massachusetts and beyond. They are small habitats that make a big difference for some ecologically important critters. Vernal pools are temporary in nature, yet support critical breeding sites for several rare and endangered species. For you, that means please be respectful of what may be a vernal pool and it's best to leave it alone. For us here at DWSP, this is just one of the important habitats that are being protected, restored, or maintained by the Division of Water Supply Protection in the lands surrounding the Quabbin Reservoir, the Ware River Watershed, and the Wachusett Reservoir, which are the source of drinking water to 3.1 million people. Thank you.